add more files to your workspace projects, you will find the search and compare capabilities of Developer Studio very useful. For example, suppose you are editing a file and you want to search for all occurrences of a string or phrase in your workspace. When you select the string and then open the search wizard, the selected text is automatically inserted into the wizard. You can add or modify the search string, specify the types of files to search, and whether you want to search in a project or the entire workspace. When you click Search, a search tab opens with the results. You can expand the results and double-click on a file to open it in OpenEdge Editor. When you are done searching, you simply close the search tab. Another useful capability is to compare files. In Project Explorer, you select the two files and then select Compare with each other. The comparison view opens and shows the differences between the two files. In this example, besides the class name, which must be different, we see that the connection string for the application server is different. Developer Studio gives you a lot of flexibility in how you can arrange and customize your development environment to help you be more productive. Let's look at how you can organize views in your workspace. Any view in the current perspective can be moved to a different area. In addition, you can resize the visible views. If you double-click a view, it opens in full screen mode so you can see more of the content of the view. Then, if you double click the view again, it reverts back to its original position. Notice that below the Project Explorer, we see the outline view, along with a number of other views. These views take up space and we do not need them most of the time. We can minimize this set of views to free up space and then temporarily restore them. You can also close views that you do not need. Any view that you close can be reopened from the Window menu. There may be times when you want the Outline view. Any time you need it, you can open it for the current file using Ctrl-O. When you double-click the location you want to view in the Outline view, the Outline is then closed. As you have already seen, one way that you can customize a perspective is to rearrange views, add views, and close views you do not need. Developer Studio provides many ways to customize what you see in a perspective. Thus far, you have seen the OpenEdge Editor perspective. This perspective enables you to edit code, manage files, and compile and run the application. This perspective is only one of the predefined perspectives available to you in Developer Studio. Another perspective is the DB Navigator perspective. In this perspective, you can view the database schema and even execute SQL for an active database connection. Here is where you can manage which perspective you are in and which perspective is available in your workspace. You can customize the toolbars and views you see in a perspective. For example, in the OpenEdge Editor perspective, suppose we do not want to see the toolbars for web client development. We customize our current perspective by deselecting these toolbars. You can also customize what menu choices you see in the perspective by modifying the settings in the Menu Visibility tab. If you have customized your workspace, you may want to use these settings in another workspace. You can transfer workspace settings by switching workspaces and then specifying that you want to copy the settings for the workbench layout in the workspace launcher. When you do this, Developer Studio opens in the new workspace and you see that the workbench layout settings have been transferred. Finally, here is a useful feature called Quick Access. Quick Access saves you time and also saves you from having to remember where you need to go to configure a particular setting in your workspace. Let's assume that we want to quickly access the database connection configuration page. In the Quick Access area, we type Connection. A window opens that contains links to a number of tasks 
you can perform relating to connection. One of these links is for configuring a database connection. We click that link to go directly to the database connection configuration area. This concludes our look at some features of Developer Studio that will help you be more productive. You have seen how you can search and compare files in your workspace, customize views and perspectives, and use the quick access shortcut to navigate to other areas of Developer Studio. To learn about developing ABL applications, take the course Developing a Progress OpenEdge ABL Application. Mm -hmm.